Call hello, Yahweh, Baha Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Baha Hashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles, great meals on the rule well. I am not a member, however, I've entered into their labors. Peace and mercy to the sincere brothers and sisters doing this wherever you are, whatever your lot may be. And this is definitely just a, a quick one um, on break for, you know, while I'm at work. But I was thinking on letting this be just something quick and, and encouraging. And in light of all of the prophecies that are unfolding, um, certain prime ministers, I don't remember which one, some that rejected the uh, the WHO's proposal for complete control in our, uh, over the nation's medical emergencies. Uh, you know, somehow these people are either shot or come up missing or so whatever it have you or they're they're under like some sort of economic turmoil you understand all of the things that are happening in the land right now with the bastards that are dwelling in ashdod um and it's taking its toll or i'm sorry it's taking an effect on here as well out here in great in babylon the great um people are running out of money people are running out of patience people are running out of options and we ought to be grateful that Yahweh Bashem Yahushai has given us the gift of faith, has given us eyes to see and ears to hear so that we can see the things that are going on and we can measure the time diligently. And I say all that to say this, that um, no other book, okay, and no other religion that pretends to, to care about what this book says, um, those tenets of that religion they don't speak to anything that is happening. So stand on the fact that you can read this Bible, that you can understand it, all right, that you've been given the understanding, and you can piece together the things that are going on in the world and point right to it. Nothing but this book is standing, right, because it <laughs> it stands the test of time, man, it, it, because it is real. It is the only thing that is real. It is the only thing that... Uh, you know, man may have wrote it, but it was divinely inspired and there is no divine inspiration anywhere else. All right. Not in the, the 450,000 denominations of Christianity, not in the Quran, not in any of that. It is right here and it was given to you. So be encouraged. And again, things are going to come down that we're going to see, we're going to experience, but the Lord is going to bring us out. You have to have faith and believe that he's going to bring us out. And, you know, you'd be a fool not to be just a little bit nervous, okay? But that's what the Spirit, the Holy Spirit is for, is to quench that or to quell that nervousness. So this is Isaiah 34, in chap uh, chapter 34, verse 16, okay? And it was talking about the prophecies that are coming to pass. And uh, I'm going to go straight to 16. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. Not one of these shall fail, right, regarding prophecy. Um, none shall want her mate. So you cannot put anything with this, but nothing can add or take away from what this word says now you can use secular books as cross references but at the end of the day they're not needed um for my mouth it hath commanded and his spirit it hath gathered them uh and he that hath cast a lot for them and his hand shall ha hand hath divided it unto them by line they shall possess it forever for generation to generation shall they dwell therein Okay, but the point that I wanted was in verse 16. None shall want her mate. Okay, and the more you read, the more uh, or the more you seek the knowledge, the more you try to lean on Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, uh, the better things will get for you in the way of understanding, in the way of having faith. And if it, you know, if you lack it, pray for it. You know, I always talk about uh, uh, James 1 and 1. That's one of my favorite things to read in, in the New Testament is uh, the book of James. Oops, hold on. There we go. All right. So I'm going to just read it, verse 2. My brethren, uh, actually, no, let's start at the top. James, a servant of Yahweh and of Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, uh, to the twelve tribes which are scattered abroad, greeting, my brethren, count it all joy when ye fall into diverse temptation. And again, man, it, it, and I wanted to say this encouragement preaching to self but to others as well is that you know the the longer you're in this thing the more you fight the stronger the demons get and what is, especially mentally no one understands nobody can understand what you're going through mentally nobody knows anything they there's just a bunch 
of NPCs walking around and you got to <laughs> pretend to be brain dead just enough to get, you know, to use this world and not abuse it. All right. And, and that's exhausting in and of itself. All right. And it's one thing to have a physical fight and win. But what happens when it's in your mind and it's just consistent and you're constantly praying? Sometimes you want to just be like, you know, fuck it. But you can't. You know, you can't. All right. And that's all the more reason that we ought to dig deep into this word. Pray. You know, the Lord loves a fighter. Pray these things off. Don't keep getting hit in the face <laughs> spiritually. Pray these things, man. And, and I guarantee you, how will Shai will answer? It's just not going to be when you want it to happen sometimes. Verse three, knowing this, that the trying of your faith work is patience, but let patience have a perfect work that ye may be perfect and entire, wanting nothing. And that's what you're striving for. And all he says is as perfect as you can be in this corruptible fresh flesh. Um, Verse 5, if any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of Yahweh that giveth to all men liberally and upbraideth not, and it shall be given to uh, given him. But let him ask in faith, nothing wavering, for he that wavereth is like a wave of the sea, driven in with the wind and tossed. All right, for let no man, for let not that man think that he shall receive anything of the Lord. A double minded man is unstable in all his ways. Okay, and that's one thing. If you don't hear anything else, uh, let that be driven home as verse seven. All right. A double. I'm sorry. Verse eight. A double minded man is unstable in all his ways. OK, you want to be rooted. You want that foundation to be solid. You want that anchor to be set in that ocean. So whatever wave, whatever, you know, storm happens in the in your proverbial sea, the ship may rock, but you ain't sinking. And that's something we ought to hold dear unto. And, and I know if you've. You know, I've been through some things. We've all been through some things. Um, you, the Lord will put you through something and bring you out. And that's an opportunity to exercise your faith. And if you look back, okay, check the track record on all the times you've exercised your faith. It was a little uh, scary or frustrating or nerve wracking during that thing. But once he brought you out, you you came out stronger. So lean on those things, right? Wherein were the righteous forsaken? So keep striving, keep praying, keep believing, keep leaning on Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, not leaning on them that smote you, all right? These devils, the, the scriptures tell you, Ecclesiastes 12, or Sirach 12 and 10 tells you, never to trust your enemy. They mean you no well. There is no way out. If you, the, <laughs> let these two third and these heathen make a covenant with death, right? Let them let them go ahead and take that thing. But we ought to be standing strong and standing firm. Look for your help on high. And I'll reiterate, I am preaching to self because I am human and I am not impervious to 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 weakness. Right. None of us are. The flesh is supposed to war against you day in and day out. Pray for the strength. Pray for the spirit to be increased when you're weak and, and give thanks when that spirit is, is hot, you know, and it's burning in you like a hub, like an oven. At the end of the day, man, always be in constant contact with Yahweh Bashim Yahusha. And I know I need to do better with that as well. So with that being said, I pray that this was encouraging to you. I pray that this sparked something in you that you, uh, you know, are able to be stronger in your walk. You know, at the end of the day, all I want is to be edifying. All right. To do something that the Lord sees is sees as worthy. Shalom.